how do you feel about today's event? Ah, it's good. It's going really, really well, and then we are really happy. So, yeah. Um, due to compared to last year, African New Year, and this year, which one do you think it's more, you know, uh, advanced? Not improving, you mean, or advanced way? Yeah. Every year is getting advanced. Yeah. That is every year they are improving with new things, and then even with the traders also we are improving every year, and which is a good thing. Yeah. So what do you find challenges in this African New Year? Yeah, it's just the work. It's, it's it's nice to you know to serve the public food and things like that, but it's a big big challenging work and it's really hard because yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> we get so tired. You know we lose our voices, our legs because we've been standing on our feet from morning until nine o'clock in the uh, night time. What about food? Do you guys serve food that uh, we are serving here? Uh, it's from Senegal and then Gambia. Okay. We've been trading, me and my twin sister, at the Africa OEA for 14 years. Wow, 14 years. 14 years, yes, this is our 14 years doing, the, doing this market. Wow. And then all the food that we do, it's from Gambia and Senegal. Wow. Yes. And some part of Nigeria because we do some planting. Really? Yes, and then we do some, <laughs> you people call it puff puff, what we call yeah. it pancake. Ah. We do all that. We want everybody to taste a little bit of different, different varieties. Yeah, nice. You know, yeah, which which is our pleasure to, to, to accommodate every traditions and then every other country. So what do you think an African OE need to improve on next time? Uh, it's just that what we are suffering from is the cost at the moment and then to get water where they are putting water for us to go and they get it is far away from us. And then internet problems in here also, it's too much. It's challenging. It's challenging, yeah. All our card machines are gone now. We cannot do no payment or any other thing. Oh my God. That's the only thing that they need to improve. Apart from that, it's a good outcome. And then if the weather is nice, it's always brilliant. Yeah, because of, for us doing it for so long, lots of Gambian, Senegali people, even Nigerians, Ghanaian, Congo people, they all come to us because they know me and my twin sister in Liverpool. We thank God for that. Wow, thank you very really much. Really thank God, yes. Thank you, thank you guys, all you right. too. because every year there is improvement okay. and we are quite happy because we've been working with them for some time now apart from the COVID-19 the COVID yeah. exactly two years so we didn't do it but we've, we're doing actually well and we love what we do wow wow all the food has been cooked by us me wow. and my twin sister wow that's very really great <laughs> yes yes what do you think African we need to do maybe um, against next year um, event what do you think they need to improve upon Actually, what I can only say, maybe double toilet for us behind there. <laughs> and our waters, the water is our problem. For us getting water, because we use everything here, we cook, we use water. And then previously they used to put it behind our tent, but now they take it far away. Where you know that our men, they have to walk with um, these big trolleys with barrels on top of it to go and fetch water for us and then come. If they can put like points of um, water points, you know that would be really yeah yeah then we should be easier for us. It should be part of the and um, the, the payment that you guys. Yes do. yes. The land is quite expensive. Exactly it is it is the the electricity and then the water and then the stalls is quite expensive. Hopefully 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 they will work on that. All right thank you very much. Paul is a good guy the organizer Paul he's a great guy he's a great man and then we've been working with him for so many years. And we're happy working with him every year. Okay, thank you very much. Paul Draham, he's called. <laughs> <laughs>
the meat okay, is getting done people. by our what chef Audi. <laughs> it's getting I done. As you, <laughs> you, you can see, the main man over there. <laughs> men are standing around waiting for the meat. See us men stand, see us men stand. Men day, men day they wait for the meat. <laughs> men day they wait for the meat. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> this is the Anambra corner, yeah? African Oye 2023. And right here, you can see the food being provided by the Anambra community. Part of the African Oye for 2023. <laughs> we are there live. And you can see men are still standing. There are still men standing around. <laughs> Africa, we are moving up. We are moving up. We are moving up. Yika underscore foods and that is Y E E K A underscore F double O D S Yika foods for the best suya and the best meats in Liverpool, Northwest England. Follow us, make sure you follow us on all social media handle Yika foods for your suya, lamb, goats, chicken, fish. Follow us, Yika Food. And also for your sweet spices and all the spices that you need, follow us also on Yika Foods. Thank you.